humble son and family member. I will not talk about Jack's political accomplishments, but instead thank you on behalf of our family, who has been shown so much love and support from the people of Toronto. The kindness and compassion that this council and this city have shown my family has been astonishing. From the messages of love and hope decorating Nathan Phillips Square, to the ongoing tributes, and to the people who keep offering condolences on the street and in our meetings here at City Hall. Your warm hearts help us feel optimistic during a time of despair. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Mayor. He has been supportive and kind throughout this process. And he has shown all of us his enthusiasm to find a suitable and relevant tribute to my dad's work and life. I would also like to thank city staff and Brenda Patterson specifically for her, man for her work managing this process. Her grace and sensitivity were commendable. I would like to thank Councillors McConnell, Fletcher, Nunziata, and Kelly who participated on the committee which came up with the ferry docks as the option to move forward. I believe the ferry docks is a fitting tribute to my father's life for three reasons. First, it is a place for families and for Torontonians to gather. It's a public space. I remember standing on the ferry docks with my family as a child and being filled with a sense of adventure, the anticipation of an exciting journey that was to come and what would be waiting for us on the other side. I think that's a good reflection of my dad's life, a journey full of excitement, full of family, and full of fun. Second is the political connection to the island. As the councillor for Ward 6, he had the privilege of working closely with island residents, many of whom became close family friends. Friendships that have continued with the Islanders' dedication of a book of stories about Jack and the island. And finally, and most importantly, it has the strong connection with his family. He danced in the island caravana band for many years. We have great pictures that we'll continue to cherish, if for nothing else, their comedic value. We often spent weekends house-sitting for, for friends on the island, and as, a, and as a family spent a lot of time walking and riding our bikes around and in between the islands. And of course, my dad and Olivia were married on the island in 1988. The docks helped create some of my family's most cherished memories and will continue to create those memories for families for generations to come. For this, I offer my sincerest thanks. I will abstain from the vote today out of respect and out of thanks to a city who has shown my family so much love and compassion throughout this difficult time, and so much kindness in their ongoing tributes to my father's life. From our entire family, thank you. sort of another piece of it, uh, with, with Jack riding the tandem with, uh, with folks that want to hop on with him. Uh, I think that really speaks to uh, how, uh, how my dad's role was uh, on council and in, in Ottawa, um, just being there as a supportive partner uh, with folks that wanted to make the change happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.